we're cooking catfish, a fish that some love and others are like, eh, not so much. But of course, with any wild game, there are a couple ingredients that can make it absolutely delicious, bacon or cream cheese. Today we're using the latter cream cheese and we're gonna make a catfish wonton or like kind of like a rangoon. So it's a really great appetizer. It's not that hard to assemble and I can promise you when people eat this, they're gonna say, hey, I actually like this catfish. Let's get started. We're gonna get started with the filling. We've got some cream cheese that we've been letting sit at room temperature to soften it up. To the cream cheese, we're gonna add a little grilled corn, which I just got done grilling, a bit of serrano pepper, some garlic, and a little bit of green onion, both the white and the green part, and then a little salt and pepper to taste. Depending on how many wontons you wanna make, but I'll probably use a little more than half, so probably about uh, five or six ounces here. All right, now we're gonna start by cutting up the green onions, the serrano, and a little bit of garlic. So grab these and we'll get started. Let's start with the green onions, and I'm just gonna start with a couple, couple onions here. Cut the ends off. All right, so let's slice up these green onions. I want these really fine, finely sliced green onion here. All right, so now I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I would say that's maybe a tablespoon or so of onions I'm gonna throw in there, maybe a tablespoon and a half, we'll call that good. And I'm gonna grab a serrano pepper. I'm gonna cut the top off. We're not gonna use a lot of this. I like serranos, they've got a nice amount of heat. I think they've got some good flavor. Cut it in half, I'm gonna remove the seeds. Cut this into fine strips. Okay, let's cut these up nice and nice and small. Everything with this filling you want to be pretty small. Same thing here, we're gonna probably go with that, maybe uh, about a tablespoon. Put the peppers in there. And then we're gonna take uh, about a medium sized clove of garlic here. Mince that, we're gonna chop it finely. This would also be a great opportunity for a garlic press. Very finely chopped, so. Put uh, that medium clove. So now we've got all those ingredients in there. I'm gonna start mixing this cream cheese together and then once I've got a good mix in these ingredients, I'll add the corn and season with salt and pepper. The reason I'm doing this first, I don't wanna smash all the corn when the cream cheese is. All right, now we're gonna season this with a little salt and pepper. Just one last mix. Cream cheese filling is all we're making, so if you wanted to add any of your favorite ingredients, go for it. So now I'll just add the corn and I'm gonna just kind of fold that in. So this is grilled sweet corn. I'll maybe use, I guess that'd probably be three or four tablespoons, not a ton, but this corn just gives it this awesome little sweet pop. All right, this is mixed, ready to go. I'm gonna set this off to the side and we are going to get the catfish ready. All right, now we're gonna get going on the catfish. The biggest deal here is you wanna make these pieces small enough to fit inside a wonton. A little bit of fish goes a long way. I'm gonna maybe try to trim a little bit of this mud line here as well. Dark piece of meat, that's what's gonna give fish their kind of fishy flavor. See, running right along here. A good chunk there, I'll take, chunk this up. This is probably a, a two pound channel cat, something like that, not a really big fish. Fiddlers, good eating size, so cube here, cube here. These pieces are too big, it's gonna be really hard to wrap your wonton, so you don't want them big. So this is a great thing to do if you are on one of those trips where you don't have a lot of fish, you're planning on eating fish for dinner, and you've got a lot of people to feed, a little bit goes a long ways in this case. So I'm gonna use a Cajun seasoning. You can buy this at the store. Just rough seasoning method here. All right, it's looking good. One last mix. All right. Now we're going to assemble the wontons, what might be the most intimidating part, but it's really not that hard. The secret is just getting everything sealed. So I have just some store-bought wonton wrappers here. We've got our cream cheese mix. We've got the catfish that's been seasoned. 
We're simply gonna lay out a wonton wrapper. I'm gonna use a couple teaspoons here. You could use a melon ball or something like that. We're gonna add a chunk of catfish here in the center. And so the, the big thing here is we just wanna be sure that we're not overfilling the wonton. If we can't close it, it's gonna end up exploding in your oil. So now we just need a little bit of water. I'm just gonna put some in a ramekin here. And this is what's gonna seal it. So we just take our finger then, a little bit of water. We'll run that water around the edges. Some people like to use egg wash. I find that water works just fine for this, this application. So now we're just going to seal them up. You could fold these in half. You could make a half circle. There's, I know there's round ones. I'm gonna go try my best here. I don't know that I'll be able to do it, but try to make like that classic um, Rangoon. Push all the air out of here. That's the big deal. No air, no leaks. It seems like it might take a long time, but you can do quite a few of these in, in short order, especially if you've got a couple, couple hands working here. You can go through a pile of them. So I'll make as many as uh, we've got ingredients for, and then we're going to uh, set these aside and start on our sauce. Boom. All right, we've got about a dozen. We'll start with that. I'm gonna put these in the fridge and I'm gonna get going on our sauce. You can make any sauce you want for this. Traditional wontons are like a sweet and sour sauce or a chili sauce, but I love avocado. So I'm gonna make a little avocado sauce. I just think is great on everything. So this is what we need. We're gonna use one avocado, the juice of a lime, a little bit of cilantro. I'm gonna use about half of the half that was left of this serrano pepper some Greek yogurt and a little bit of salt pepper to taste and then a little honey for sweetness. All right, we're gonna start with our ripe avocado here and we're using a food processor for this. You can mash it up, but a food processor is awesome to have. So if you've got electricity, I recommend using a food processor. So we're just gonna open up our avocado here. We'll get the pit out. I'm just gonna take our avocado, we'll slice this baby up. Now I'm gonna head over to my cutting board and cut up a little bit of the cilantro and my lime in half and my little serrano pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of cilantro, not a lot, so we're just gonna do a rough chop on it and then we're gonna send this over to the food processor. Now we're just gonna do about half of this serrano again. Again, this is rough chop because it's going to the food processor. So I'm cutting it in quarters, so it'll be easier to squeeze in there. Slime, of course, adds great flavor. That citrus is great in there, but also it'll help that avocado from browning. So you could put this in the fridge in a sealed container and it's not gonna turn brown right away. So, so now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt. judgment here just roll a little bit all right now we are ready to powderize this stuff so here we go we're just gonna mix it until it's nice and thin all right that looks good we'll put this in a container and then we're gonna start frying wontons Wontons are made, sauce is done, now we just have to fry them. We're gonna use a shallow pan, cook it in here. You could use a deep fryer, of course. And if you want, you can use an air fryer for this. It also gives them a nice crunch to it. But we're going old school. We're frying them in oil. I feel like catfish fried in oil is kind of one of those things that's a, that's a must. So we're gonna add quite a bit of oil to the pan so we can get them pretty much all the way submerged. I'm gonna add a whole bottle, whatever this is, size and. We'll heat this up to 350. 349.7, good enough. We're gonna start frying some wontons. So we don't wanna crowd the pan, but we're just gonna add, add a handful in here. I think we got a good seal on everything, that's a win. I'm gonna flip them upside down so we get crunchy, golden. 
And you don't have to cook these that long. I'd say maybe three to five minutes. The catfish cooks quick. And it's really just getting a nice crust on these things is all you're looking for. So just watch your oil. You don't want it to all of a sudden spike to 450 degrees. And that 350 gives you the crunch that you're looking for. Okay, let's pull these babies out. Shake off the oil, set them on here, and I think I will also finish this with a little bit of finishing salt. All right, All right there you have it, catfish wontons. This is a pretty easy deal to do, though it looks complicated. It's delicious, it can feed a lot of people, it looks fancy, and it's one of those things where if it's something not everybody likes, add a little cream cheese and the crowd is gonna love it.